This is my revised model room. I've got some shelves there for bits and bobs, kits and spare parts and these tubs and whatnot. Extra bits and bobs there. My back for my desk. Couple of shelves there. Bits and drop there. Up and coming models. This is what I'm working on right now. It's 34 1941 model. No, 1943. This is another desk here. There's going to be. I do have another chair uh, exactly the same as this one from IKEA. And that's going to fit in this space here. I've ordered a spray booth which will be coming next week and that's going to sit right in that spot there and that means I can put the hose right out that window there because it's got a five foot hose so it's going to fit really nicely. I'll move my compressor from there over to that side. Now this is a bit that I'm excited about because I've got a new cabinet or new bookcase from IKEA but instead of having books in it I have models of course. I fitted a wee light as well up there, 9 watt light so it gives quite a nice light. I'll give you a close up of most things. Hands of fear is full and dry. Gay. Hands of fear is full and H. Hands of Yeager 4 fear. This is my Russian collection here. Uh, I'm just waiting to finalise this one. This is the new Zvezda kit. So I've got the, the wheels ready and the tracks ready to put on just whenever I have a chance. Uh, the SU100 from Zvezda. Oh, that's my buddy build with my pal Dan in Florida. He finished his like a month ago. Uh, as as usual, I'm still faffing about doing other things. This is Dragon's T34. Really nice kit. And another Zvedster T3485 this time. So as you can see, this is my, my Russian section here. Apart from that guy there. Yeah, my German section up there, I've showed you already. I've put the heavy tanks down the bottom just to even out the way a wee bit. Uh -huh. uh, my busted King Tiger, supposed to be kaput. You can see the engine deck open there perhaps. A lot of mud and whatnot on it. In fact, got the better idea to open these doors. Smarter, I think. Yeah, I'll give you a close up there. Uh, my last model, um, or the late model, King Tiger, Sturm Tiger, which is supposed to be derelict as well, and another Tiger. Once I've got the doors open, I'll give you a close up of these. And then, underneath, oops, that's a long bar, oops, caught my, caught my camera there. Underneath, uh, this is where they hide all the, all the crap really, all my paints and bits and bobs, but I need to shut these doors over, ta-da, nice and tidy, hidden, clean, 
and then on this side is where we're going to have all my paint and stuff and then there oops all my paints in here filled, filled with Tamiya paints all these millions of Tamiya paints there but it's all nice and neat and tidy so I thought I'd take a photograph or a video now of it because uh, by two days time this place will be wrecked <laughs> It'll be back to my usual. So I'll carry on with this T34, I'll do the wheels. I've done the tracks. You can maybe see them, they're ready there. So I'm just to do the wheels now. And then that, that's more or less ready for paint. I've pre-painted the turret uh, as I have done. Get some more light here. On these other T34 turrets, I've done, a, I've done a batch of them all at the same time. It's quite dark actually, so. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.